Tip Tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today, a really, really quick tutorial uh, for something that I discovered the other day, which is quite useful. Um, you'll notice that when you scale shapes or um, strokes inside of Illustrator, the um, stroke or effect on it doesn't actually scale with the shape. For example, on this shape here, I have a 10 point um, border. Uh, a stroke, it is not an outline, it is not a fill. And when I scale this shape down, you'll notice that even though the shape is much smaller, the stroke remains the same width. Now, this also happens with rounded rectangles. So if I were to draw a rounded rectangle, for example, you notice that all the corners have a um, roundness of say 35 pixels. If I were to shrink that down, the roundness of those 35 pixels would remain the same. They are still that amount of rounded to the point where if I round down completely, it turns into pretty much a circle. Now, this again may be an effect that you want. It may not be an effect that you want, but there is a way you can control that. So if I just draw here a rounded circle, a rounded rectangle, just to illustrate my point, and then I duplicate it over here, there is actually a way to scale and make these things scale with the shape. And that is without outlining. So you could go here and um, you could go to uh, object, uh, path, outline stroke, and that turns your stroke into a fill so that when you scale, it does go smaller. As you can see, it is thinner. Um, but if you want to maintain the fact that this is a stroke rather than a fill, it's an easy way to do that as well. You just select your shape, making sure that you've got all the bits that you want to uh, adjust selected and head over to your transform panel. If you don't have that, you can just go down to window and transform. And one of the options hidden away down at the bottom there is scale, scale corners, sorry, and scale strokes and effects. So if I check scale strokes and effects, even though this is now technically a stroke, uh, if I scale this down, you'll notice the thickness of the stroke scales with it, which is perfect for what we need. And again, if I were to make these corners very round and apply scale corners and then scale this like so, the ratio of corner as well as the thickness of the stroke is maintained when you shrink, which uh, isn't done when you don't have these options checked, um, which aren't actually too obvious. I thought they'd be a bit more obvious than that, but there they are. So I hope that's been useful, you guys. Um, if it hasn't, I'm really sorry, but I just came across this and thought it would be great. So uh, let me know what you think. And if you want more little quick tips like this, and I'll see you all next time. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.